Hello, everybody. You're back for some more. Looks like it. Looks like it. So if you haven't seen part one, it's less than 10, it's 10 minutes. It's just this minute. But please watch it. It'll give you basic, uh, what's the word? Understanding. Understanding of the technique we're using. And today, what are we doing, Cole? Qu'est-ce qu'on fait? We are taking it a little bit above and beyond to the next step of the video that we had just done. We're gonna combine both our styles. I'm really passionate about mixing colors. Moi, j'adore peinture des couleurs, uh, mélanger des couleurs. Uh, Cole, y'a dans l'espace. Cole's all about space. Uh, so today, we are gonna bring you step by step on how to make a galaxy. A galaxy uh, with the primary colors and just kind of a little fun technique you can try at home. And what's cool about it, it, it always ends up pretty cool. So follow us along and make sure you watch the first video first, the color wheel one. We hope you enjoy and if you like this, let us know and we'll do more. And if not, we'll stop doing it and put our time in other things. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button. So the first thing you're gonna need is a canvas, c'est un Canva and your favorite brushes, as well as the primary colors, donc les pinceaux préférés et les couleurs primaires. And then just have fun, just start mixing. You'll see the more that you mix certain colors, the more muddy it's gonna look, but that's okay. Just try to get as many different colors and nuances you can. Donc là, c'est vraiment, je dois du plaisir. Peinturer, mélanger des couleurs. Vous allez voir qu'il y a peut-être des couleurs qui vont être un peu plus boiteux que d'autres. Mais c'est correct. Just have fun. Just let your soul be free on the canvas. Next step, la prochaine étape, you're going to do circles around the colors that you love the most. Vous allez faire des cercles en entour des, euh, des couleurs que vous aimez le plus. I'm using a bunch of different things around the house to do these circles. You just plein de choses à l'entour de la maison and then you're just going to outline everything with an acrylic black. On va utiliser un noir acrylique juste pour contourer tous nos cercles. This does not have to be perfect. Ça peut pas être parfait. You can ask an adult to help you out at this point if you really want to. But I know you can do it. Donc c'est ça, c'est d'aller l'entour de toutes les formes et de tout remplir l'espace. Fill up all the space. All right, so now that we're done going around of our planets avec le noir, now, là qu'on a fini d'aller en entour de nos planètes avec le noir, with the black, uh, we're gonna let it dry. So this is an opportunity to wash your hands, do what you gotta do, pause it now. All right, and we are good to continue. So now I'm gonna be using a white acrylic paint and I'm gonna be using some tempera paint. I don't have any white tempera paint, but I do have yellow, pink, a dark purple and a blue. Once our acrylic is dry, we're going to use the tempera paint to kind of give depth to our planets, kind of give them a bit more life. This is the time where you can make your painting truly your own. Le prochain video, Cole va mettre sa petite touche. Cole's gonna put his next little touch on the next video. So stay tuned, let us know if you like it. And here's the final slash part two result. Oh, hey, you guys are still here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and remember to like and subscribe.